So our goal today is to change the belt on this 2009 Honda CRV, and this procedure will work on the 2007 through 2011 uh, Honda CRVs with the 2.4 liter L4 engine. And so the first thing you should do is kind of get yourself familiar with this diagram right here because Honda doesn't uh, supply it. I just printed this out of the Deco Products uh, website. This shows you the routing of the of the um, belt so that you know what to do when you get yourself into this. Um, and so I've put some things down on this diagram uh, to kind of help out um, anybody else that's looking at it. You notice that the top pulley is the uh, power steering. We have the alternator. And then below that is the water pump, AC compressor, the crankshaft, and then of course the tensioner. And so this is the front of the car, which is to my right. And uh, the way this works is we are going to insert um, a tool in here and then we're going to release the tension by pushing on this tensioner out or toward the inside of the car. And when we do that, it loosens the belt so that we can remove it and then put the new belt on. And so that's the general procedure that we're going to use. So take a look at this uh, routing because you're probably going to need something like that as well. Um, and so either you can go to the Deco website and print out uh, a copy of this like I did or you can maybe uh, just look at this video and that way you have it. And that's pretty important. And so uh, I've got my belt. At the end of the video I'll show you uh, the part numbers. I went with a gator back belt which has that that nice grooving in it uh, from Goodyear. Uh, I got that from Amazon.com. Um, and so uh, I'll give you all that information at the end. So let's begin. Okay, so for the first step, what we want to do is we want to crank uh, the front wheels far to as far to the right as possible so that we can access uh, the crankshaft pulley and the AC compressor pulley. So now that the uh, the tire here is fully to the uh, right. You can also remove the tire if you'd like. You don't really have to, uh, but if you want to, that's fine. So here I got a light. We can take a look in here. We have a little splash guard down here, and uh, we need to take the clips out. I already took the clip out on the on the right here, and so on the left there's another clip. And so all you really need to do is to take a screwdriver and then pop that little clip out. And I'm trying to do it with one hand here, and there it comes. Okay, so now that that's out of the way. We can open this up, and if I can get my light in here with my other hand, you'll see that that's the crankshaft pulley right there, and to its far right, which you can kind of see there, uh, that's the AC compressor pulley. And so those are exposed to us. We can see the belt there uh, going from uh, uh, left to right. We need to get that off, obviously. And so uh, backing off here, you can see the wheel. We can take a look at our diagram again. And so what I exposed are the t uh, bottom two... Um, pulleys that you see there, the crank and the AC compressor pulley. And so we need to get access to that so that when we route uh, the new belt we can get to it. And so that's that second step. So here's the view from the top of the engine now. And so the next step is to um, we want to get the belt off of um, uh, the top here and, and we have to crank on that belt tensioner. And the belt tensioner is hard to see because it's buried underneath um, the uh, power steering pump here and so to get at it easier you don't have to do this but I think it's it's a little bit easier to do there's two 10 millimeter bolts here that held the power steering reservoir um, to the bracket very easy to take those two off and you can actually move the power steering reservoir out of the way and if you do that let me get that light down there you can see the tensioner you can see the bolt of the tensioner sticking out and I'm gonna point it out here if I can get something here to do it with. So that bolt is right down here. You can kind of see I'm kind of tapping on it there. That's the, the tensioner bolt that we have to get to and uh, it's a 14 millimeter bolt head on that and so uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. I'm going to show you um, uh, the way that I thought might be the best way to go. So the concept now to get the belt off is to take a 14 millimeter socket or a uh, open it and wrench and then put that over the tensioner and we're going to turn it toward uh, the front of the car which will open that tensioner up and allow that belt to come off. Now um, to get more leverage what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put of course the closed end of this open-ended combo wrench on the uh, tensioner uh, bolt and then I'm going to take um, just a, a half inch socket uh, ratchet I'm going to put it in 
on the open end of that 14 millimeter wrench and I'm going to use that as extra leverage and it also allows me to angle this so that I can get around some of the obstacles and so that's the goal to get that, that belt on. so let's try it out okay so now I've got the um, the combination wrench on the 14 millimeter um, bolt head that's on the tensioner and it's just kind of sticking up at you since I only have two hands it's kind of hard to do this in video at the same time so I got that sitting down there and now what we need to do is of course pull that toward the front of the car and so I have my um, I have my half inch ratchet right here and what I'm going to do is just insert it into that open end of that um, that box wrench right here and now that I have it gingerly in there see if I can do this with one hand as you pull back toward the front of the car you can see that it's releasing the tension I don't know if you can see that but you're kind of pulling on this thing and as you do that the tension is relieved on the belt so way down there is that tensioner so I got this kind of rigged with both of these um, you know wrenches and as I pull again I'm pulling it toward the front of the car and that releases the tension I should be able to then just pry up uh, that belt and get it off of that uh, main pulley which is uh, the power steering pulley on the top so I can't do that with holding this camera and pulling on this so I'm going to do that next and then uh, I'll see you on uh, the next segment. So now uh, just moments later now we have the belt loose it's off the uh, the main pulley you can kind of look down there see the alternator pulley and so on um, you know the I guess the, the the knee jerk reaction would be just to go ahead and yank that thing out of there um, but I think one thing that we could do to make this a lot easier a little trick that um, that someone taught me is to go ahead and take the the new belt which is right here and then we're going to tie strap the two belts together, the old belt and the new belt right there, with just a you know throwaway, you know, little tie strap. And and we're gonna pull the old belt down through the engine from the bottom where we have the wheel well open. And that way as we pull the old belt down, we're gonna pull the new belt in. Of course it's not going to be threaded right, but at least it gets it down there without us having to finagle with it. And so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to tie strap them together and then pull the old belt down and the new belt through. So now you can see the two belts are strapped together um, with that little throwaway tie, tie strap. We're going to cut that once we pull that belt down through. And so let's do that next. So as you can see, um, the belt is loose now down here. And we're just going to reach in and start pulling that belt off. And then we're going to pull that new belt down through. And then we're going to uh, we're going to need both hands to do that, but that's exactly how this is going to work. Okay, so now we're working the old belt out, and as you can see, we're pushing, pulling down uh, the new belt where it's tie strapped to the old belt. We're going to cut that tie strap and then begin the routing process. Now just follow the, uh, the uh, DACO sheet that showed the routing, or if you wrote it down yourself, uh, that's the way to route it. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. We're going to route down here first and then begin the routing up on top. Okay, so we've routed uh, the new belt on. As you can see, it's kind of loose down here. We're going to take a look up top. Um, the last part that should be routed is going to be the alternator pulley. So everything else should be routed as per the diagram, and then we're going to use that alternator pulley because it's a nice small one and it's relatively easy to get to to slip that last loop onto. So let's take a look at the top side. So looking at the top side, you can see everything's been routed. Um, but notice that the belt is on top of that alternator pulley way down there. And it needs to go on the other side of it. And so uh, there's, you know, of course, too much tension on the belt without the tensioner being pulled back to allow that to happen. And so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pull back on that tensioner uh, with the same setup as I showed you before. And then uh, we're going to have a long reach screwdriver to just kind of poke that that um, that belt and coax it onto that alternator pulley. Now if you have a partner um, that can do that while you pull back on the tensioner that would probably be more ideal. You can do it by yourself. Obviously I'm going to do that here in a, in a moment um, but you might need uh, some kind of long reach um, device maybe even just a, a piece of wood to just poke down that that belt and get it around that alternator on that other side per the diagram. And so again I wish I had four hands to do this all at once but I'm gonna do that um, and then show you the results. Okay so as you can see we have the new belt on 
and everything looks pretty good. Uh, really at this point um, you just reverse the procedure, go ahead and put back the splash guard down below and then you can get the uh, power steering pump back where it needs to, or reservoir back where it needs to be. Um, so really the hardest part I think was when you want to put the new belt on because it's not as stretched out. It really helps to have you know a long reach screwdriver to kind of ease that belt in as you pull on that tensioner and um, I think that would be probably the hardest part of this thing. Um, but it would help if you had another person. I did it by myself, which, you know, you only have two hands. So um, it would help on the uh, uh, installation part to have somebody else actually finagle that in as, as the other person is pulling back on uh, the lever arm that is, you know, attached to the tensioner. And so as far as the part numbers go, I'm going to get into that next. So as far as the part numbers go, I used uh, one of these gator back belts from Goodyear, which is 407 0690. Um, got it from Amazon.com. And so here's uh, my shipment information from Amazon. So yeah, that was, I don't know if that's focusing real well, but it's the 407 um, 0690. And it was a total of uh, $29.54 shipped Amazon Prime and no tax uh, at this point anyway. So so all in all, um, it's going to take about a half an hour to do the job, and um, you know I think with these instructions, um, you know if you're pretty good with uh, just a couple wrenches, uh, no special tools required, you should be able to do it. Um, so I hope this helped you out and uh, saved you some money. Thanks.